This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. What about my people? Hope everybody in okay. Hope everybody in all right. Me yes, I know what they are in the shop them no more. Because a bag of people buy them off. Because they write down the same thing with them write down every year. Yes. That time of the year again, when they see a bag of people come out and come say, This is what I plan to do for 2022. Only now I go do nothing. Me, I don't know what I'm saying, I'm not going to do nothing. 2020, I'm going to write down the same thing, say, I'm going to do that for 2021, and the year done, I'm not even make a change. I'm not going to change a change. Same way, I'm not done. See the police, them here, we attack a crime one way from Jesus as a boy, and still attack it the same way. If we don't slap a criminal, then it's not going to work. We can't leave them from the them behind bars. And then we not come tell people, say, well, oh, London, our intelligence ought to do this, our intelligence told us to do that, because we're going to get other information. We don't know how to get information. But anyway, public service announcement. This is how the police them say, them plan for do. I want to reassure the public that for 2022, we will be resolute we will not relent we are going to be more aggressive against those who continue to perpetrate violent crime the fact is that we cannot allow these individuals to overrun our society intelligence is assessed by hit rate and when we review the hit rate we have increased it from single digit to double digit and we are in the high 20s in fact strategic intelligence issued by our nib headquarters we get an average of 80 percent hit rates in those intelligence packages we are not going to surrender every year we save in excess of 300 lives by proactive means through intelligence products that we have received. And so, contrary to statements that are, have been made, I believe that there's a significant improvement in our intelligence, as well as our investigative capabilities, and daily we are improving. If we keep on doing the same thing over and over again and getting the same result, you fix me, really. come here. Come, come tell me how I improve. That's how I want to know. Anyway, people, we can move on and go down to St. James. Go go to some news here. 26 year old Christopher Fuller of Lovers Lane, Montego Bay, St. James, has been charged with illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. The police report that a team was on foot patrol along William Street in Montego Bay on Friday when they saw Fuller, who upon seeing the cops, ran to a nearby property. The police pursued him to the back gate of the premises. According to the police, he was reportedly seen throwing a firearm behind the gate. He was arrested and a 9mm Browning pistol with a magazine containing 10 9mm round was retrieved. Why the police never slap on this boy? Why the police them never slap on this boy? You know, see this boy did a plan for God that people Christmas Eve. And that him did a plan for doing and the police them really are tell me say they just go for carry this boy right in behind by scratch free so it makes no sense 18 year old javon orton yes people i'm gonna tell you about javon now of bamboo saint Anne's died as a result of injury he sustained in a motor vehicle collision along the bamboo main road on friday yes the police report at about 10 30 pm orton was driving a motorcycle when he collided with another motorcycle that was traveling in the opposite direction but who will not be the no people these are the most important part of the news. And had stopped along the roadway. So, Alan, how fast him really did that go for him crash in a park bike? Eh? Is that park bike the man crashing in the people? Both drivers received injuries and were taken to the St. Bay Hospital. But from when they look for Arten, we know that Arten never had to make it people. Carelessness cars, all of that. Hold on a bit, then we move on to Anova. Approximately a dozen and a half passengers from a minibus were rushed to the hospital on Christmas Eve after the vehicle overturned on the North Coast Highway between, yes, people, Point and Mosquito Cave in the parish. They were taken to the Noel Oak Hospital in Lucy where the injured rang from broken bone, displaced hip, yes, head injury, and spinal damage. I tell you something. 
carelessness again. Carelessness again. When our news team arrived on the scene of the mishap, a lone motor vehicle could be seen overturned on its left side. Its windshield and windows were broken. There were also blood everywhere. Blood everywhere, people. The driver was unaccounted for. You know somebody in the comments here trying to ask, my view, what you mean by unaccounted for? Me can't tell you, no. Remember me telling all of these things, you know. Means that the driver run the fee bus. Yes, he come out of the bus and just run guard. Pass problem, no analyze, stand them. Something then must say, well, and I will leave a baby like a dead after that. This, you know. I mean, I put that part my head. But anyway, the people them don't know him. You know why? I want the minibus them apply the Lucy to Montego Bay Road. Yeah, man, I want the atmos them. When the people them love take cars, the driver drive fast, 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 fast. And him don't stay in the traffic. You see what I'm to them now? You see what I'm to them? Holy for them down, they broke up. Man, chaps over them, so on the daff and them, so there. But no worry yourself. You're going to keep on the posted on this. Come see the commission I come out and I tell the people them to take time on the road. Also, we saw quite a few fatal uh, accidents um, in the last 24 or so hours. From a policing perspective, is there anything that we are trying to do to mitigate that? And also, what would your encouragement be to persons who are enjoying the festive spirit but they're out there on the road? Messages. Um, be careful. Take your time. Do not drink and drive. You know, get a designated driver uh, to, to, to take you home if you intend to drink. Um, also, be courteous and, and patient with other road users. Uh, and, you know, where you see the police directing traffic, uh, asking you to do things and comply, just comply with them. Um, they're trying to make everybody safe. Uh, don't speed. You know, quite often when you start to, to drink and people who start to drink, they feel invincible, start to speed. And then after a while, it, um, it they lose control of the vehicle and then their whole, the whole, their whole lives change. So all the plans they had for 2022 are now gone, now put on hold. It's a hospital instead, um, if they're lucky, or they may be dead, and families have to deal with all of that. So stay safe. Um, we're out there, we're de we've deployed people um, to all over, including for traffic management, for hotspot management, for the investigators are working as they always do uh, over this period. Um, so I'm just asking everyone who who is listening to stay safe. That's the word from the commissioner asking the people them to stay safe because him and him team cannot keep on safe. You understand? Me be honest, people. Remember me talking as it is, and as it might be, you know. Them cannot keep a soul safe. You understand? Them not slap on nobody, you know. Pickpocket them out in them numbers. Them out in them numbers and them a come come take people things like say people they put on something for them. That's why I'm saying for slap them, you know. We need to slap our eyes at them. We not care them in a 2022 with me, you know? No, 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 no. But we'll land there. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. We have more things to talk about. So let's check us out a little more.